Hello to everyone. In this video, we're going to focus on how to use the X-Rite i1 Display Pro to calibrate and profile your monitor. Now, this is going to be limited specifically to the X-Rite i1 Display Pro. So if you have other devices or you need more information on color management, three places you can get it. One is a blog post that this video is attached to. And you'll also see a link in there for my free PDF, Three Steps to Successful Color Management. You can download that. Or if you have my Photoshop book, uh, there's a link in the uh, blog post for that also. You can go to Section 7 on uh, Color Management 101. A couple other things I want to point out here. If your monitor is over 4 to 5 years old, you may not be happy with the results that we're going to be talking about because your color is going to vary from one end of your monitor to the other. So if you got an older monitor, just know that there's going, there are going to be color variations in what you see on your monitor. There are two methods of monitor profile creation we're going to talk about today. And I just happen to have the monitor for both. One is a MacBook Pro and the other is an external Dusonic monitor. The first is automatic display control and the i1 profiler software will test your computer for compatibility with this uh, ADC as it's called. Most Macs will fall into this category. The second method, which I will use on my ViewSonic and most PCs and most other monitors, external monitors, would be a manual adjustment using the suggested settings that are shown in the blog post. You need to be familiar with the on-screen display controls of your monitor, called OSD. This will allow you to manually adjust the color and the contrast and the brightness. And last on the list here is uh, when we go into i1 profile, we want to check for updates and then we're going to use the advanced mode. So let's go to that next. So the first thing we're going to do is check for updates and you can accomplish that by pressing the appropriate button down here uh, on the bottom right hand side. I know mine's up to date so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Then the next thing we want to do is on the upper right hand side is change from the basic mode to the advanced mode. That should be a permanent change. You're never going to want to go back to the basic mode. You have too much control when you're in the advanced mode. I'm going to go down the right hand side. If your i1 Display Pro is plugged in, then you will see the green check marks that you see here right next to i1 Profiler Display. And application settings, usually it will automatically be under i1 Display, but if it's not and it's under i1 Pro, then put it back under i1 Display so that the software knows you have the appropriate hardware.